What is up you guys? Red here. Sorry for not posting. School has been on my butt. Uh, especially AP Chem. It's kind of giving me nightmares. You know, don't take AP Chem Junior year of high school. Uh, you'll hate yourself. Um, anyway, here I'm like, I know the hunter probably spawned over there, so I'm just waiting to see if he'll commit to me. I see the red light uh, flashing on the tree, so I'm like, okay, he's coming my direction. So I ping that he's coming over here. This is just my mistake because I should know my spawns better, but the priestess was over here, so I saw her and I was like, oh my god, get out of here. Because if he sees you, he's totally gonna chase you, but luckily he went around to that pallet, um, instead of going around the way I ran. So here he gets a mark on me pretty soon, but I throw a fireball, so... Oh, he actually didn't get a bit mark on me because I threw my fireball in order to stop it, so... Here's me just not looking where I'm going, uh, even though my camera was directly on him. It's okay though, because I reacted quick enough to get back around. Here we go back to this pallet. I throw it down, and he wants me to vault it, but I'm not going to because it's a pretty easy way to get terror shocked, so... Um, I was just being extra careful, making sure to just walk around it, because Nightmare Dash gets stuck on some items pretty easily. So here he actually changes target, uh, which is unfortunate because, um, bro, mo uh, bro, uh, crowed on the mind's eye, <laughs> which is, uh, mind's eye chase compared to an acro chase. Very big difference here. Um, but le look at this, like, event, like, look at this, watch this. Look, just like Lambie. Lambie, Lambie, buddy. <laughs> Lambie! Like, so that's just like the best thing I've ever seen in this game. Like, I think that is the peak of Mind's Eye gameplay. Like, I don't know what else to say. She got a palace stun and decoded. It's like, I don't know what to say. That's just the best Mind's Eye gameplay ever. Wow. Um, but anyway, Lambie got hit through uh, a palette and gets another palette stun. Um, goes through the portal, and so the nightmare, this is pretty funny, because he locked on the, uh, mind's eye, um, the dash actually made him jump towards where the portal was instead of the portal image on his side, so that was pretty cool. So the nightmare tries to travel back and teleports a little too early, I believe, so yeah, he teleported a little too early, um, and so now he's kind of, I would have continued to pursue the mind's eye, but he obviously left her, um, but that's okay, but I finished my cypher and I get caught here, um, so I throw it on this pallet to avoid the hit, he breaks it, so I transition to another pallet, you know, basic kiting here, um, making sure to be very careful about my placements, he's trying to get a mark on me, as soon as he gets it, I throw it down, um, making sure to not get hit through the pallet, but, you know, here, okay, here I'm trying to also be careful about that because I don't want to camp the pallet because I could get hit. I don't know why I threw that down because now I'm in a really bad situation. So I had to take the hit because if else I vaulted that, I'd probably get terror shock. That's how nightmares get their terror shocks. But Lambie decides that they want to steal my kite and, you know, as karma and stuff for playing Mind's Eye, like the worst character in the game. Um, this is what happens. So that was pretty funny. They kind of deserved um, I was kind of sad after seeing that, but it's okay because Enchantress goes to rescue and I take Enchantress to Cypher, and there's still a pallet over here, so, um, it's okay. And Priestess also has another Cypher, so this is looking good for us for the late game. Enchantress is trying to rescue his- Enchantress gets seen a little early, um, on the way to chairs, so that's unfortunate, so she's forced to rescue a little early than we would have preferred, but it, uh, she has stacks here, so she stuns him. And then Lambie is just trying their best to just not get hit by the dash. This is a really good structure for that because look how unreliable the hitbox of that thing is. Look at this, like, come on, bro. Um, but so because of that, the nightmare basically just couldn't hit them. And now the cypher's popped and the mind's eye's running to a uh, factory. And the nightmare really can't do much here except... Um, possibly use his blink is which is what he does and he misses it but if he does that then he can't really teleport to a gate unless he ends chase because by the time if he gets the mind's eye down these gates are going to be open um so that's what's happening Lambie's just continuing to kite here and i think he's giving up a little bit feel kind of bad for the guy but it is the worst hunter in the game 
Uh, here's Lambie, uh, Lambie going around. The Nightmare does try to trick Lambie, but, uh, Lambie notices that Lambie is watching where they're going, so they just go back around. Doing a silent vault here, uh, a slow silent vault, but this is about the time where all the gates are open, and that is our win. Uh, I'm not gonna show the rest because, um, it's just Lambie failing to kite to gate slash dungeon, but it was a win. Alright you guys, that is the video, so thank you so much for watching, subscribe if you want to, no pressure, and I will see you guys next time. Uh, this has been Red.